Hello lovelies, welcome to our channel Universal Movies. Today, you will be watching a 2017 British-American science fiction film called Alien Covenant. Please subscribe our channel and press notification bell for latest videos. Disclaimer, this isn't spoiler content, watch it and stay safe. The film is the sixth entry in the Aliens franchise, serving as a sequel to Prometheus in 2012. If you haven't watched Prometheus and would like to watch it, you can click the link on the description. But don't worry, you still can understand the film easily without needing to watch the previous movie. After being activated, David, a human-like robot, is interviewed by Peter Wayland who claims to be his maker and father. David seems to be a very intelligent robot, as he is able to play piano songs requested by his creator. Wayland then states that one day they will search for mankind back quote s creator together. In 2104, many years later after the Prometheus expedition, a colony spaceship, Covenant, is on its route to the planet Origai 6 with ETA for about seven years. The ship is carrying more than 2,000 colonists in hypersleep and more than 1,000 human embryos. While the advanced android robot of David who is responsible for the ship, Walter, attempts to recharge the energy grid, the vessel is suddenly struck by a neutrino blast for nearby stellar ignition, causing major damage to the grid and igniting several fires on the board. This event forces Walter to initiate emergency crew revival from the hypersleep which awakens 15 of the ship back quote s crew. But unfortunately, Captain Branson is incinerated and killed inside his cryotube due to its inability to open. The surviving crew manages to bring the disaster under control. Daniels is the crew who feels the most lost because Branson was her lover. Chris Oram is appointed to be the ship captain and responsible for every decision. He explains that they have lost 47 colonists and 16 embryos due to the previous disaster. Chris then commands Walter to undergo an analysis to understand why the event occurred, but then Walter replies that it was a random localized event which is impossible to be detected. After several conversations about luck and determination, the crew starts to fix the ship. Daniels and Walter inspect the terraforming bay, whilst Tennessee and a crew go outside the ship to conduct exterior repairs. They manage to sail on the track and activate the ship's power again. While undertaking a spacewalk back to the vessel, Tennessee picks up a fragmented and distorted transmission through his spacesuit backquote's communication system. The board then analyzes the message and the crew are able to discern an unidentified human humming a classic rock band song within the image. They manage to trace the rogue transmission to its source, discovering that it originated from a nearby planet which is perfect for human habitation, even much better than Origai 6, the planet they're going for. They also find out that it only takes a few weeks to reach the planet, meaning that the crew is not required to get back to hypersleep after what happened to the previous captain. Presented with a seemingly perfect planet, Orem commands to take a greater look to it. Daniels rejects the plan claiming that it is just too risky to go to the planet that is just too good to be true, but then later is overruled by the captain. Upon reaching the uncharted planet, Tennessee, Ricks, and Upworth stay on the ship in the orbit while the rest of the crew are heading to the surface using a dropship to explore. After a rough journey, the crew discovers a verdant world developed in vegetation and decides to land on the planet for further exploration. As they go, they feel something strange as there is no sign of living animals and some trees are cut off as something has passed overhead. One of the security team, Ledward, decides to take a cigarette break, but he by accident steps on small pods, causing a tiny dust-like bacteria to come out and enter his ear unnoticed. The crew then continues the exploration and comes across a crashed C-shaped engineer ship, where they find a tag belonging to Dr. E. Shaw, inside, as well as the source of the transmission they received before. The other crew member, Hallett, also spots the same small pods inside the ship, causing it to crack and the tiny bacteria enters his nose. They have to end the expedition when Ledward suddenly becomes violently ill, causing him unable to breath and bleeding. Orem backquote's wife, Kareen, has to bring them back to the dropship, where Tennessee wife, Maggie, brings them to the med bay and quarantines them inside. 
Moments later, a pale alien creature, known as a neomorph, ruptures Ledward back-s back and attacks Kareen, mauling her to death. Equipped with a gun, Maggie attempts to kill the creature, but she misses and accidentally shoots several flammable tanks on the ship, triggering an explosion that kills her and destroys the entire dropship. The alien creature then manages to escape. Outside, Hallett's condition is getting worse and suddenly a second neomorph comes out from his mouth, killing him instantly. The neomorphs, who grow faster than expected, soon return and attack the crew. They end up killing one of the crew and Walter loses his hand while he is trying to save Daniels from the attack. The crew manages to kill one of the creatures, but the second neomorph retreats after a bright flare is fired by a mysterious hooded figure. Left with no option, the crew decides to follow the mysterious man and he leads them to a nearby ruined city, filled with the bodies of dead engineers. Upon arriving at a temple, the figure reveals himself to be David, the only survivor and an android robot from the Prometheus mission. He then explains that Dr. Shaw and him came to the planet 10 years ago with the engineer ship, but the cargo full with weaponized black liquid accidentally deployed all over the city when they arrived, infecting and killing the entire population in the planet. The plane then crashed, killing Shaw and leaving David alone. Later on we discover that the pathogen didn't accidentally deploy when they were landing, instead it was intentionally released by David with the purpose to kill all the engineer population. Walter then attempts a conversation with David, claiming that David is too human and too idiosyncratic, which makes other people uncomfortable. This causes the creator to invent Walter, a better and less complicated version of an android robot. The surviving Neomorph, which now has fully grown up, infiltrates the temple and finds Rosenthal alone, mutilating her and cutting off her head. David locates the creature and tries to communicate peacefully with it, but then Orem interrupts and kills the Neomorph with his gun. Orem questions David about the truth of what had happened to the planet, but instead David leads him to a laboratory where he presents his efforts to genetically engineer a superior life form from the creatures spawned by the black liquid. He leads Orem onward into a chamber in the lower part of the temple, where several eggs of his creation lie. One of the eggs opens and David assures him to have a closer look into the egg. But he lies, a facehugger suddenly comes up from the egg and impregnates Orem backquote's face. Due to a huge storm and the planet backquote's thick atmosphere, the ground crew unables to contact the Covenant. Aware of the situation, Tennessee, as the Covenant pilot, decides to lower the mothership so that they have a better chance to communicate with the ground crew. Thanks to the plan, the Covenant finally is able to maintain communication with the ground team. They request to do an immediate pickup and Daniels suggests Tennessee to use cargo lift even though it is quite risky. Hours later, Orem awakens but it does not last long as an alien creature ruptures his chest and comes out, killing him instantly while fascinating David. As the others search for Orem and Rosenthal, Walter discovers Shaw's dissected corpse which was used by David as a host body to evolve his engineered creature. David then spots Walter in the room and both of them start a conversation. David claims humans are a dying species grasping for resurrection and don't deserve a second chance to start again. He also states that his designed creature is a perfect organism. When Walter disagrees with the statement and says that he won't let David leave the place, David stabs Walter in the neck and leaves him to suffer on the ground. Meanwhile, Sergeant Lope is attacked by a facehugger while the crew is looking for Orem. Cole manages to save him by cutting it off him, but the liquid form the creature causes Lope backquote's face to burn. Unfortunately, Cole is suddenly killed by a fully grown black alien known as a protomorph while Lope manages to escape. In another room of the temple, David confronts Daniels, correctly guessing that Dr. Shaw wasn't killed because of the crash. He then confirms that he killed Shaw during his experiments. Suddenly, Walter, who was able to self-repair himself, comes into the room and saves Daniels. The two robots engage in a duel. It shows that Walter is much stronger and manages to strike several punches towards David. Daniels meets Lope and they manage to escape from the temple, waiting to be picked up by Tennessee with the ship's cargo transporter sled. The remaining crew manages to get into the cargo ship, but they are pursued by the protomorph unnoticed. 
Daniel single-handedly battles the creature on the board of the flying craft until she kills it by crushing it to death in the vessel's remote crane. Upon returning to the Covenant, the remaining crew is preparing themselves to get back into hypersleep. However, Daniel and Tennessee suddenly spot out that the second protomorph coming from Lope Backquote's body has escaped and is running towards Ricks and Upworth in the shower, killing them instantly. Fortunately, they manage to lure the alien to the terraforming bay with Walter Backquote's help and guidance. Daniels manages to trap the creature in a vehicle and orders Walter to open the door, which causes decompression that sucks everything into the space. The protomorph manages to escape and tries to attack Daniels, but then it is fatally impaled by another vehicle and they manage to send it out of the Covenant. As they return to hypersleep, Daniels reminds Walter about the cabin Branson planned to make, but the android robot seems to not remember what she is saying. She then realizes that it's actually David who had intentionally cut off his hand and scarred his face to deceive the crew. Daniels cries out in vain as David activates her pod and sends her into a hypersleep state. Now alone in the ship, David enters a bay full of colonists and regurgitates two small facehugger embryos, placing them into cold storage next to the human embryos. In the end of the film, he records a log as Walter claiming that all crew members except Tennessee and Daniels have been killed by a neutrino blast and that the ship is still on the route to Oregai 6. Please subscribe our channel, turn on notifications and stay tuned for latest videos. Thank you for watching.